Hey there, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how to set up a GRE tunnel uh, using Open vSwitch. Uh, using Open vSwitch 1.4, uh, it's the uh, nightly build, just pulled it down a couple hours ago so it's pretty fresh. Uh, I didn't see a cookbook on how to build a L2 GRE tunnel, so the, the tunneling mechanism at this point right now from Open vSwitch is purely layer 2, they don't have the control plane components nailed down yet, so uh, some of the comparable technologies are NVGRE and uh, VXLAN from, respectively, from Microsoft and VMware. Uh, those do have a control, me control plane mechanism. Of course, it's multicast for broadcast flooding, so if you want to call it that. Uh, so this is the topology that's set up here. These are just uh, two VMs running uh, on my Mac here, so you hear the fan in the background because it's about to melt. So you got uh, hypervisor one, hypervisor two, and then we'll spin up a KVM uh, within that instance between each of those. So those are two bridge groups that have uh, no connectivity to each other currently. So let's take a look at that. So config 10.1.20. And we'll do a ping here. Prove that the uh, tunnel is currently down. Get a destination host unreachable. Uh, so, got everything set up uh, as you can see, other than we'll go ahead and pop in. Uh, I've got it here somewhere. Let's see if we've got it. Uh, there we go. So, this command we're going to put in. So, I've got a blog post already written up. So, all these commands you can go back and see. Uh, so this is going to establish a GRE tunnel over to uh, the screen on the right. Uh, the destination address of that is 192.168.1.152. So that's all it takes right there. So now let's take a look at our config again. So now, uh, what we didn't have before is now we've got this uh, GRE1 interface. So it's going to be a, a virtual port on the... Uh, virtual switch uh, so as we can see we've only got one learned MAC address entry right now and that's for my local so let's generate some traffic over to this guy and populate that uh, table there so let me pull up the config on this real quick so as you can see, that's already built, and the TAP0 interface is the uh, KVM VM instance. So let's go ahead and ping the other guy. So now we've got some traffic, and we'll do the same here. I'm actually pinging the wrong address here. We're going to be pinging uh, 20. So now we're pinging one another. So now let's go back over and look at our bridge. Table, MAC address table here. Now we've actually learned through port 13 the neighbor. So what we've essentially done is taken two hypervisors and two disparate bridge groups. We've taken it from the bottom left picture and turned it into one big flat dumb VLAN. So now people can do uh, live workload migrations. Uh, you know, and uh, flatten out the network. So what this can, you know, potentially turn into is, uh, you know, if you've got two data centers within a city, potentially even across the state, depending on how much uh, latency you can handle in that. Uh, so that's it, and thanks for watching.